Aaron, have you caught your breath? I have. Then let's go to our first main question today. What do we got? This comes to us from Galactic Champ. Hey, crew, we have now officially got confirmation on the character portrayed by William Jackson Harper in Aaron's most anticipated movie, Quantumania. <laughs> Jackson's character is known as Quaz, who is freedom fighter, who is a freedom fighter within Quantum Realm and telepath. While William isn't playing the heavily speculated role of Reed Richards from Fantastic Four, who I still think might appear, it is good to see an official confirmation on the role. John, what do you think about this casting update? Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And when William Jackson Harper was announced, everybody was like, oh my God, again, from the good place, he's absolutely fantastic, that we all loved his work on it. And we started speculating, who could he be? And, you know, somebody asked a question, I mean, could he be Reed Richards? And we thought, at least I thought, you know what, man, if somebody was going to pull off the smartest man in the world kind of vibes, granted, it's a little bit of typecasting because of his role in The Good Place, but I'm like, I could totally see him playing the smartest man in the world. I could see that. I mean, didn't necessarily think he was going to be it, but I said, yeah, that has some air to it. Well, now we know he is playing Quaz. Full admission here. When I saw the headline and I saw the story that he was playing Quaz, I immediately started going, who the hell was Quaz? And I started thinking, is it this? No, 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 no. It's not that guy. Uh, oh, it's this guy. No, it can't be that guy. And I started getting online. Look, Quaz is a new character. Is not from the Marvel comics. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who wrote the following. William Jackson Harper's MCU role as Quaz is a telepath inside the quantum realm. Quaz is a freedom fighter and is pictured next to KDM O'Brien's uh, Gentora. There are no other details confirmed about how Quaz factors into Ant-Man 3's story, but he could have a chance to fight alongside of the movie's main heroes against Kang. All right. So a couple of interesting things here. One, now we know who the character is. We know a little bit about him. It's not a traditional MCU character. It's a brand new character. There we get a first good look at him. By the way, it looks really good. Uh, but just within the description of the character, we get a little bit of an idea of the movie too, that there is an organized society down there. There are oppressors and there are freedom fighters. And we're starting to get a little, what's, I'm, it reminds me of another movie of somebody who ends up in a world and ends up fighting for freedom, not Planet of the Apes, but there's probably many others that do that as well. Anyway, this looks good to me. I admit I was expecting to hear some recognizable Marvel comic book character's name associated with them. But hey, you got to create characters for your stories. Rob, you hear about this. What do you think about the look of it? What do you think about the description? And did it, were you able to glean any information about the movie itself from it? Well, it was intriguing because one of the producers, uh, there's a story that went out over the weekend that called this movie a war film. Yes. Mm. Which is something that I was like, wow. And we've seen troops gathering. We've seen ships departing. I, I assume those were Kang's forces going somewhere. But a war film, uh, that surprised me hearing that. That was not what I was thinking. But clearly there is a massive conflict happening within the quantum realm. And that that kind of excites me. I'm like, that's interesting. And the idea that, you know, if 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 Kang is a despot that is uh, an evil ruler and can't get out, or this iteration needs to get out, maybe that's what he needs Ant-Man for to get him out. Like, help me get the hell out of the quantum realm. I don't know. But the fact that we now have freedom fighters, I mean, it looked like, I got to say, it kind of looked Matrix-y to me. Yeah. You know, and I love that just the little, whatever that costume is, it, it's pretty cool. Like, like I love the idea that there are factions within the quantum realm, new characters. I mean, those that one shot we've seen in the trailer where the dude with like the television head or whatever right. walks up. Like, who are those dudes? You know, and I'm, I'm like, they I look like the dudes from Stray. It, They're called it, TV it, heads. It kind of does actually, and I have to say that um, this movie gets more and more interesting to me the more I hear about it. So I'm, I, if anything, this just it kicks my excitement level up. By the Even way, the further. movie I was thinking of, Demarius Love pointed out, kudos to Demarius Love in the live chat, uh, Mom and Dad Save the World, which kudos to anybody who ever references Mom and Dad Save the World. I love that movie. Anyway, Christian, you saw the news. We know who he's playing now. What do you think? Woody Harrelson says it to him in that solo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I will say that I... Sh <laughs> downtown. 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 Downtown, <laughs> uh, downtown Christian Harloff. I, I get it. Um, <laughs> Uh, look, this is this is great. I, I actually really like the idea that they have um, new characters also that because it also allows the internet to relax for a second instead of like, well, maybe because in the comic books he does this and does that. And I love that. I yeah, love that we can yeah. do that, but it gives a chance to go. 
Well, no, let's learn about, as you said, John, let's learn about some new characters. Let's learn about some new um, people. And, and and I love, I'm glad you said the Matrix, exactly what I was thinking, where, you know, they, they have like that little underground where they're fighting this threat that they don't know how to beat. And here come like these outsiders who can help us out and maybe yeah. and, and figure out a way, because that's what that scene looks like. It looks like they're like, they're having some kind of meeting. Let's bring these people in here. Maybe. And Janet has been there. You know, yeah, she's been there for a while. She's been there. She know she knows. She seems to know a lot more than she's leading on. So, I think um, I think this is great. I love the idea of introducing new characters, and I think uh, and I love that 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 quote about the war film. This this movie. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm I'm really looking forward to this one a lot. It was one of my most. It's the trailer. I think just delivered on 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 a whole other level. That's like the last one. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> I mean, you you didn't like the trailer. Which, I, which, by the way, is something I said. I, I could see a lot of the casual moviegoers right. looking at that trailer right. saying, what, what is there to this? But I, now we know well, a little bit. the casual moviegoer is an idiot. <laughs> As I have been told by the internet, anyone who did not love that trailer is an absolute moron. Well, and should be crude. what do you no, think yeah. about I, I apologize for that. I hadn't had my coffee. No, I want to say this. No. I think that context is very important because so in uh, in preparation for this, you know, I, first of all, I'm very excited about this casting to answer the, speci the original question, because, you know, uh, good Texas kid right here has a strong theater background. He's got lots of really great projects that are coming up. He also does voiceover work. And as you have said, you know, it's never a bad investment when you add talent. And this kid has talent. I keep calling him a kid. He's we're the same age, but you know, he, he has a, he has a youthful quality about him, which I think is going to lend itself to a very long, prosperous career. One of the things that the article touches on is that while his specific character is not in, uh, is, is not based in the comic book, there is an idea that he may be, that character may be an amalgamation of many different characters mm -hmm. so that the people who are, who are, really big fans of the comic might notice specific character traits from different characters that all come together as this one. And in preparation for this, I went back and watched, rewatched the trailer, but I watched the first trailer that I hadn't seen. And all the things that I said, I really want to see more of Paul Rudd's personality I saw in the oh, first trailer. Oh yeah, that was in the first trailer. Right, yeah. and that's the thing <laughs> is, to be honest, yeah. The two, uh, one of the things that I love about doing this show and that I love about our community is that for me, the casual moviegoer who is spending five days out of the week chasing a toddler around, I don't see every single trailer that drops on YouTube. What? I see the ones that, I know, right, <laughs> Rob, right? I see the ones in preparation for this show. And so as a casual moviegoer, Without seeing that first trailer, I watched it. I was like, action, action, action. Where's the story? When I watched that first trailer and then I watched the second trailer, I went, oh, now I see why everybody was losing their mind. But without the first trailer to give me that story and to give me the, the depth and the gravitas of what they were all fighting for, it didn't really track. So while I don't take back what I said last week, I do think that it's something for these studios to think about that when you're marketing a movie, you can't always assume that every single person watching your second trailer will have seen the first one. Um, so, you know, yeah, obviously for the big movie fans, you're going to have watched all of it and you're going to be even more excited. But for the casual moviegoer that doesn't get a chance to see the first one, you know, give me a little bit about that, too. So now having seen both of them, my interest is much more peaked. And I do understand why everyone who saw the first trailer was even more excited after the drop of the second trailer. And the addition of this new casting is just going to make it that much better, knowing that even more talent is being added to the roster. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Now we've got a little bit more context for this character, even a little bit more context for the movie itself. How are you feeling about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save money this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Guys, I have told you before that when I was on one of the major phone carriers, I was spending literally three times as much every month and 
switching to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier. So for people just looking to save some extra money this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in just minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.